Rich with Sarah and Manny. We're here with Lucas Hoge from Nashville, Tennessee. He's a country music star. And we're so excited to have him on today. How you been, Lucas? I've been good. I've been good. How about you guys during this craziness? It's great to see you. Uh, well, we created this show, so we're doing good. It keeps us busy, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to get back to normal. I'm ready to get back to normal days. Amen to that. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been up to during quarantine? You just released a uh, new song. Yeah, recording like crazy, writing as much as possible across Zoom a lot with uh, some some of my people. So um, being uh -huh. able to utilize Zoom a lot more because a lot of my friends, I've had two of them that had to go back to like England and, and Italy yeah. and stuff like that because they were here in Nashville, but then they had to kind of got, I guess, deported through this whole quarantine thing. But we were able <laughs> to stay in touch with Zoom and still write. And and uh, we got a great new project that we're working on. I cannot wait to get it out. Some completely different music than what I'm used to. So I'm really looking forward to it. I was kind of able to uh, reinvent myself a little bit during this time. <laughs> Hey, that's great, you know, this yeah. is the time to do it, you know, just come out there and crush it on the radio when things get back to normal, right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly, laying the foundation. Laying that, yes. <laughs> so, um, your latest single is Wishing I Was Fishing, and that yeah. was me and yesterday, he was fishing away. All right. I don't know. Hey, Lucas, Lucas, I forgot, forgot to put, it was kind of cloudy, so I didn't put any sunblock, and all of a sudden the sun came out. <laughs> Uh -oh. And my arms are burnt right now. <laughs> so I put on the sunblock a little too late. We did catch some pogies and a couple of snappers and stuff. So it was it was a good day. Right. But I'm feeling it today, though. I'm re definitely <laughs> feeling it today. So Got to protect them arms, man. Protect it. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, it's, I'm on fire right now. But That's it. Whatever. <laughs> Where were you fishing at? We went, because uh, we live in Massachusetts, obviously, but we took a ride to Rhode Island. It's called, like, uh, Vernerton, Rhode Island, I think it's. I mean, it has like a little beach for the kids, a little area for the for the kids, like a little beach, and then we can just walk out onto the rocks and, you know, salt water is you know obviously it's good fishing. So it was, Heck it was yeah. fun until I woke up this morning. So. <laughs> so fun. I don't fish, guys. I don't fish. What? We gotta change that. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> I've never been fishing. Come I don't on. That's for me. Man, we gotta fix it's, that. We gotta take her out. No, and go it, it's definitely. I didn't know. I mean, I didn't know she was that good of a golfer. So now I know she. Well, now she just told me she doesn't like fishing. So we just take her out and, and you know, it, it's fun. You bring you bring your little mart martinis that you like so much, and, and just sit there and you know, it'll be a good time. Oh, I, I have don't. a. I have a big thing for um, martinis, apple martinis, Lucas, and they get fun up a lot. Nope. She's high. She's high maintenance. I'll tell you a quick story, Lucas. I start. I started oh, celebrity bartending at this restaurant around where I live, and that's where I met Sarah. So, oh. you know, I see her. I see her walk in, and you know, she's like, "Oh, let me get an apple martini." You know, the first day I think you, she drank them like no problem. The next time she was like, "Hey, I, I don't. I really don't like this one." So I go back and make her another one. <laughs> so I made. So the second one, I see her. She tries it, and you know, somebody gives you that. It's okay, face. I'm like, no, no, no. So I take it again, dump it out, make it a third one. Oh yeah. And then she, and then I see her face again, and I'm like, dude, if, I, if I'm gonna make you another one, the owner's gonna fire me. Like I can't give you four apple martinis and just keep dumping them out. Right. So finally, I think I've perfected it. But she's a high maintenance apple martini drinker, so those those are tough to keep happy anyway. So. Uh, that's awesome. Well, yeah. I, I was bartending here myself. I was calling. Went to Tequila Tuesday, so on Instagram, I'd make a new tequila drink every Tuesday for the last, like, six weeks. So I was nice. out things. And I stumbled on these um, two ounces of pomegranate, two ounces of, like, silver martini – or silver tequila, and then agave syrup and cayenne pepper. And psh, I found my new favorite drink. It's so Magic. Ooh, nice. You got to teach Manny how to make those. You got to teach him how to make oh, those. Yeah, you, you got to text me that recipe so I can bring something new because with all the quarantine stuff and <laughs> – we just, we just actually reopened on Tuesday or Monday, but it's only like outside seating, patio, and it's kind of tough, but, you know, once they reopen and we're always trying to find new, like new drinks and stuff to make at the restaurant. And, but the thing is, I, I've never, I played baseball my whole life. I never bartended ever, but I'm good with people. So that's, so it kind of, it kind of goes with it, but I, Absolutely. everything that I learned this winter, I actually forgot. So, so I got to learn <laughs> I again. I think you're good with you know? people. But I think you're you're good with the people. We'll uh, just leave whatever. That. What, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll make your next martini extra special. Let me tell you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, enough about you, Manny. Let's go back to Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Lucas. All good, man. All good. <laughs> <laughs> 
So tell us a little bit about, you're going to be on TV. You're going to do Hoge Wild on yeah. the, uh, the Sportsman channel? Yeah, I've got a brand new show I've been working on for a long time called Hogue Wild and really looking forward to getting out there. It's a lifestyle adventure. So, so um, as a country artist, you know, my guitar has been my passport for taking me everywhere around the world. I played, you know, anywhere you can think of. I'll go yeah. to play for the troops for the last 13 years, 12 years, excuse me, and uh, been in Afghanistan, Pakistan, Iraq, Kuwait, Kosovo, Egypt, you name it. And um, mm -hmm. it's just, I've met so many great people along the way. And Everything that kind of ties us all together is the outdoors. You know, we all love being in the outdoors, talking hunting, fishing, scuba diving, whatever it might be. And I'd be like, you know what? About four or five years ago, I was like, well, I'd be silly not to start bringing a camera guy with me and turn this into a show because oh, cool. I think it'd be really interesting for people. Some right. We get to play and perform and, and, and just have fun on. And just the people along the way alone would be a show in itself because there's incredible, incredible <laughs> people. So... So yeah, we're putting this show out June 29th. Um, it finally debuts. It's been a long time in the making and I'm really looking forward to getting out there. Um, the first episode is a mule deer hunt in, down in um, Arabella, New Mexico. So we're mm -hmm. harvesting mule deer down there with my buddy uh, Tom Crumlin and his beautiful place, which uh, just, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be fun. And we're doing you know, doing very tastefully. We're trying to change the narrative. A lot of times the hunting industry gets a bad, a bad rap sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, from, you know, the select few people that kind of ruin it for all of us, you know, so we're trying to bring that narrative back around and, and hopefully bring some people into the industry that not necessarily you'd think would love to be a part of it. Oh, that's very yeah. cool. So you've been doing this for developing four to five years. God, Manny, we have a long way to go. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we very long way. You know, trying to find time to do it all during touring and stuff has always been hard, yeah. but finally we're just like, you know, we're just going to do it. And last year we started filming and and uh, quickly got a lot of, we're doing 10 episodes a season. So we quickly got those under our belt. Now we're already um, in the production of season two. And hopefully this COVID lift um, will come off because we're supposed to be in <laughs> South Africa, Bolivia, and the Amazon. Um, oh. doing some amazing stuff. So uh, nice. as long as the track. Hey, hey, look, look it's be, besides, I wanted to ask you, but besides like, you know, your music and country music and stuff like that, as a kid, like, do, do you, are you a sports fan at all? Oh, absolutely. I was in all hey, sports. Like, because obviously my forte is baseball and like obviously there's no basketball, no hockey, no nothing right now. Like, yeah. do you, what, are, you, are you a baseball fan? What's your favorite team if you do have one? Yeah, I'm a huge baseball fan and the Dodgers are my favorite team. Sorry, buddy. Uh. <laughs> no, that's not, that's, uh, we're just used to winning over here on the East Coast, but we're yeah. good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, but I was going to ask you, like, 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 what do you think with everything going on, like with the owners and the players and the money and like not coming to an agreement, like, like what are your thoughts on that? Because it's not only baseball, it's all sports all around the country. But for us, it'll be baseball today in this convo. But like, like what are your thoughts about it? Like, you know, what should they do? That's, that's a good question, man, because they're, you know, the sporting industry it's, in itself has so much money that's being thrown around and things like that. So with not being able to kind of make that money back with your patrons being in the stands, I mean, I can totally see on both sides, it's like, it's hard you know, to figure out how to do that and how to make it a win-win for everybody, you know. Granted, us as spectators definitely want to see you guys out on the field again mm -hmm. in all genres, and, and uh, to, to see that would be awesome to be able to watch it on TV and stuff like that, but it takes money to get you guys out there on the field, so it's just like me going out on the road. I can't go play to nobody, you know. We can mm -hmm. tour all day long, but if nobody's out there, you know, paying for tickets, I mean, we can't do it, you know, just can't. So it's the, kind of the same. I kind of feel like we're in the same boat a little bit, um, yeah. in that respect but it's like yeah well, I mean sure we'd, we'd all love to be out there but we kind of got to do what we do and and I don't know how you guys could play a virtual game on Instagram <laughs> yeah that, that, that is true <laughs> that is very true but but yeah because I mean I, I see like the players going back and forth the thing is with, with the pandemic already with the coronavirus yeah. you know and all the riots going around the country that it kind of it kind of overshadowed the virus now and obviously now there's more talks about the virus like telling people to stay safe yeah. That being said, it was like, you know, this is baseball is a summer sport. Like, you know, they, we, I think the people in the country need something to look forward to, to get their mind off the COVID. And I, me personally, I think the players, they need to come to an agreement. And, and I know the owners want to make money and the players want to make somewhat of their money that they, they earn. Sure. But they got to come to an agreement because, you know, they need something for this summer. Like, we just can't have no sports at all. This, I think for the fans, it'll be a lot easier. I completely agree with that. I mean, that's, I mean, you from being right there in the middle of it, I mean, that makes a whole lot of sense. You know, it really does. Yeah, it was kind of crazy. I was filming 
part of the Hogue Wild. And part of it's not, it's not all about, you know, hunting and fishing and stuff like that. It's bringing the lifestyle of what I do. So um, mm -hmm. over the last 10 years, I go down to Puerto Vallarta and we do this big event at a little uh, club called uh, the Bia Premier. And that's where I started meeting a lot of these Dodger guys. So Rick Honeycutt's a huge, I mean, a big friend. And then Oral Hershiser, those guys are just fantastic friends. And I got to know them over the years and Matt Young. And, and they were like, hey, why don't you start coming to spring training and hanging out with us, you know? And, and I was like, yeah. So this year I said, hey, can we film it for a part of an episode of the show Hogue Wild? And they're like, absolutely. So I'm literally, literally in New Zealand when all this COVID stuff is hitting. Oh my God. And everything's shutting down as soon as I'm like landing. They're like, oh, these flights are shut down. And then I'm, I had to get on a flight as soon as I got to Nashville and fly to uh, Glendale, Arizona for spring training. And I'm literally putting on the uniform, you know, we're going to go out and shag balls and run bases, whatever, and have the game at night. And literally coach walks in and he goes, Hey guys, uh, we have to cancel, you know, spring training. And the oh, really? oh, 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 no, it's great. Hey, but, but at least you guys have Mookie bets on the control for the next three months <laughs> until he becomes a free agent and not even play one game. I know. Man. That's gonna be that, that's what gets me. It's like like examples like Mookie Betts. Like he just got traded to the Dodgers. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Technical somebody just called me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um so, like you guys have the Dodgers have Mookie Betts. Like what happens if Mookie doesn't play a game this season? Is he a free agent or do the Dodgers have his rights for the next year? Like it, it's it's yeah. crazy to me. Yeah, you that's know? tough one, man. Hopefully they can keep him. Keep him around. <laughs> no, the good. Dodgers with that lineup, with everybody they got over there, they're, they're, they're definitely the team to beat the next yeah. season with Mookie and everybody over there. So, absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. That's for sure. And I can't wait to see everybody on the field, man. It's like yeah, maybe back on uh, singing again. Like I was thinking actually while I was listening to you to talk, like it's like Manny's been saying all along, like you can't play without fans. And then like you know you do the Opry. So I just saw like Michael Ray and Carly Pierce did the Opry without w having anybody watch them. Is that, is that weird? Yeah, I mean, it's very weird, you know, granted we've always, we've been doing the social media concerts and stuff like that for a couple of years now, but it's, you know, it's, it's that personal one-on-one -on -one interaction and, you know, having the roar of the crowd and, you know, yeah. all this, I mean, yeah, it's definitely weird, but you try and push through it and stuff like that. But yeah, it's, it's definitely interesting. <laughs> it really, it's, it's a learning curve. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So what do you think you're going to do for the rest of the summer? I mean, they just today, they canceled Coachella for sure. So like, you know that nothing's going to happen this year for sure. Yeah. Um, I know you have a part partnership coming up with like Salt Life. So you're going to focus more on the TV and then a little bit on the music or how's that going to go for you? Yeah. I mean, obviously not having any touring hurts the old pocketbook pretty hard <laughs> for, yeah. for I an bet. Entire year. You know, it's like you're using an entire year's worth of wages overnight, which sucks. But mm -hmm. You know, we are pivoting in towards, you know, focusing on the TV show a lot more, but I'm also in the studio um, with my producer and we we're just creating like crazy. So it gives us that, you know, a little bit of extra time to, you know, create those things that we, we might not have had the time to do before. So we're trying to see the good and the bad at the same time. And, and right. uh, like I said, kind of push through and, and make it the best it can be because it's unfortunate for everybody. Everybody's in the same boat in, in one way, shape or you know, another. So, you know, it's like complaining doesn't do a whole lot of good it'll be so cool to see what comes out of you know you being in quarantine other musicians like what okay. kind of it's gonna be huge next year i think it definitely something to look forward to <laughs> i can't well, wait I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to look forward to because by the talks of it they no vaccine yet they have no idea what to do <laughs> like they're talking about they're hoping to be somewhat normal this time next year right this oh. virus so they're talking about a year from now so it's like Eh, like I'm hoping it's sooner than later, but it's it doesn't seem like COVID is going anywhere. Not and looking up. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think it, I think it's going to be around forever. Obviously, so it's just mm -hmm. like I'm bad at and you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Maybe get a with it, you know, it's like, here, what do you do? You know, it's unfortunate, very unfortunate. I mean, I, I'm just I'm just happy that they they opened the golf courses and then, but they weren't allowing carts out, and it was driving me nuts. But now carts are out. Why wouldn't so they? Like I'm happy. It's just because of the whole know. cleaning the carts, and you had to uh, keep wiping them down after everybody used them and all that stuff. But now, like if me and you went, if me and you went to go golf and we came together, then we can ride together. Like if other guys yeah. showed up in different cars and they want to individually in your own car. But I was so happy once the governor announced that we can use cars because I hate walking and I was, it was driving me nuts. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> so with all the quarantine stuff, like I'm, I, I want everything to go back to normal, but I'm happy with that they gave cards out. You know, <laughs> it's a little thing. <laughs> it's a little things that matter, you know. You know, yeah. <laughs> But, um, hey, Lucas, yeah. I was I was gonna tell you though, like I was I was going through your your songs and I heard a couple of them. I like the song "Boom Boom" a little bit. Okay. I saw I saw you wrote a song for a childhood friend growing up that passed away. I thought it was pretty cool, but I think my favorite so far. I haven't gone through all of them, but "Flip Flop" so far is my is my favorite one right now. Just so you know. Uh, well, thank you for that. I appreciate it, man. I think we're all ready for flip flop weather. So yeah, yeah. It's uh, I was telling her I was like, oh, you got to check it out. It's just you know girls in bikinis and flip flops it never hurts anybody so that was fun the, the lead guy that kind of me younger which i don't know how he did that because we were pretty much the same age when i was doing the video but uh he was a nascar driver uh justin uh oh gosh i can't think of his last name uh -huh. i think you know he, yeah. it was really cool but he blew it up to his nascar fan base which was awesome so. oh that's awesome nice. yeah that's great we want to be on your new show though when covid is over Let's do it. Seriously. You know? we'll, we bring, we'll, we'll, we'll take a Fort Myers trip. We'll do a Fort Myers trip. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. I'm actually trying to do the second part of the Dodger episode. So maybe you can come fishing with some of me and, and your buddy Dodger guys. I don't know if you guys have any friends on the team. We can try and pick them out. And I know Oral's coming. Uh, Rick Honeycutt, Matt Young will come. And then um, uh, we're trying to get Coach to come out, but I don't know. He's going to be pretty busy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, I mean, for sure. If we can set that up, that'd be awesome. Yeah, it would be a blast, man. I can get a cute fishing outfit. I am so ready, guys. So ready. Perfect. <laughs> we'll make the oh, drinks. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that'd be fun. Oh, so fun. I know. I know. Well, uh, where can everybody reach out to you on your socials and check out all your new music? Absolutely. My socials are super easy. It's just Lucas Hogue, at Lucas Hogue. And the Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all of it exactly the same. Just Hogue is H O G E. And then on the TV side, we've got uh, Hogue Wild TV. Is so it's at Hogue Wild TV. All the TV side of stuff and all the adventure stuff. Awesome. So, so well, we'll make yeah, sure to put those up for everybody. <laughs> please, there's tons of content out there, and there's only going to be more coming. So and make sure everybody enters in the uh, the Salt Life giveaway. It's really cool. We're giving away a, a branded acoustic guitar signed by me, and then awesome. a $300 online gift card for salt life anything salt life which is really oh, cool that yeah, is really cool yeah just blowing up the wishing i was fishing campaigns it's gonna be fun yeah, yeah that's nice. great we'll have to have you back on later this summer to after your tv star heck yeah let's figure well i used to have a TV <laughs> show on animal planet a few years back where uh, i was rescuing dogs all across the south we rescued about 160 to 180 dogs every single week and, really yeah and we found them new homes love, i love that States. So it was, it was really cool. You know, we had a lot of people that were foster families along the way. So we deadhead from um, Cookville, Tennessee, all the way down to Little Rock, Arkansas, and Florida, and pick up wow. all these dogs along the way. And then when we pull up in these parking lots to give these pe these families like their their brand new pet that they you know are fostering or or having a forever home. I mean, people would show up with banners and signs with their dog's name on it. So it was so fun. It was a cool show for Animal Planet. So, but it was. It was no, good. That's pretty Can cool. they bring that back? That's awesome. <laughs> I know, right? That's what I was saying. And it was a cheap show to film, and I don't know why it didn't work out. But Well, that's too bad, because, you yeah. know, I do a lot of fostering and rescuing from California. I'm big into Chihuahua rescues, trying to get Manny to have a Chi-Chi. Nice. Uh, I'm, good. I'm good on Chihuahuas. I'm good. I've got a Chihuahua here. Uh, we, 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 we have two cats right now, which I'm... I'm waiting for them to kind of pass on so we can get a dog for the kids. Oh, my God. And we're leaning more into um, well, our cats are old. She's had them forever. We have a little oh. kitten one now, but that one's probably going to outlive me. But uh, we're looking into German Shepherds and a boxer. And, you know, nice. I think a German Shepherd might be, might be it. But we're just kind of waiting to see what Shepherds we decide to do. Man, Shepherds are great. Boxers drool too much for me. I love them, but they drool just – all, all my buddies have boxes growing up, but it's no. I get what you're saying. Like, we've looked into like a chocolate lab, like uh, nice. a golden doodle. Oh, yeah, yeah. I called again. <laughs> now I've got yeah. your. I've got He's your. He's so social shirt. right now. He's so social in the middle of TV. <laughs> People love me these days, you know. <laughs> Ask well, that special hey. bikini. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, just like. Hey, we, I hope we 
we kept you entertained the whole afternoon here. <laughs> Absolutely. I love it. I love it. Are you kidding? It's great. No, but like she said, dude, we're hoping to have you back on the show and good luck with everything else, man. Like, it sounds like you're killing it. And hopefully when we can get back out, you know, we can go down there at Fort Myers, do something or, but it, it's yeah. awesome what you're doing, man. Keep it going. That's yeah, great. It'll be a fun, fun episode to do. Maybe I come spring train with you, man. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'm, if I... <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm just going to tag along on everything. Just be there. Yeah. Deal. <laughs> with, your, with your pink golf suit or whatever yeah. it says, your little pink fishing suit, whatever it was. I'll find one. Don't you worry. <laughs> All right, Lucas, <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. Good luck with everything. Thanks for stopping by today. Thanks, guys. Appreciate All you. Right. Be safe. All right. Thanks, Lucas. Bye -bye. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.